Hey, thank you for coming out to check out my Grand Church 107 gameplay video here at Trial Mountain Circuit for the third round of the Nations Cup. And here we go. And already, right to the beginning, there's already a huge crash. I could barely get past it. I just slightly touched one of the guy's front bumpers. And then someone couldn't help themselves but hit me just before the first turn. And my car is pretty much damaged all over. So that's going to really impact my ability to drive this car uh, for the first little while. But it will still keep on pushing. I decided to start on medium tires. I think most people start on the soft. Um, purely because I started in the middle of the pack. So it didn't make sense to start with the softs and have people behind me benefit from the toe um, and I still think I could keep up with the people in the front for the most part on the mediums and already we've seen several crashes moving me up three spots I believe to fourth position I think the uh, my main goal here is to try to stay as consistent as possible. This this car is incredibly easy to spin out, um, just by putting a little too much throttle uh, coming out of a turn, without having made the steering wheel essentially straight. Oh, this is my favorite. It's portion of the race right here. This is the part you can really go flat out. And you can already see uh, a higher place is right on my bumper. And he's most likely to do a pass. Yep. I don't go defensive. There's honestly no point in being uh, defensive or fighting this, this early in the race. Uh, the main goal should be to try to get ahead as fast as possible um, so the people behind us can't catch up. And in this race, I was, the tire strategy I went for this time was the medium to hard, uh, sorry, the medium to soft to hard, uh, purely because I think everyone's going to be on the hards on the last stint of the race. So I didn't, so I thought maybe uh, no one would have a real advantage over anyone else. So this should hopefully make the most sense. I'm still I'm still able to keep up with uh, a higher place in in front of me, which is pretty good. Mast music in the very front has kind of uh, taken off on us, so I don't think that's going to be a a real target at this point in time for us to uh, try to attain. I think podium position would be ideal. But we'll just keep on pushing. One of the main uh, one of the main things that really impact this car I think uh, is the elevation changes. It really throws off everybody when they're trying to go through the elevation change and accelerate at the same time. And looks like a higher place in the stick are starting to really get close and maybe possibly even battle it out. So hopefully they can slow down each other enough for then I can catch up. And yep, looks like a higher place Maybe pushed a little too hard and had the huge accent there. And the, yeah, the gap really, really did open up between us. But now we're starting to get much closer to the Stig. Maybe he has some sort of damage. Oh no, he's actually starting to pull away. Otherwise, as long as we try to stay consistent, you know, don't push too hard, we should be, we should do fine. I, I found that's probably the fastest, that's probably one of the way to be the fastest driver 
so to speak, without being fast. It's just to stay consistent, reduce the amount of errors that you that you cause or you have, and usually you end up at least in the top five for the most part. So we've we've really caught up to the stig, which is good. Right here elevation changes so this is where this is a major portion where people start to make a mistake as they try to get up this hill and you just try to ride the curbs there's actually a way i think where you can kind of go around this portion fairly straight it's hard to do but when you do it you could get around that those last couple areas uh last couple turns very quickly Still outside the uh, slipstream at this point in time. But he's still in sight, which means you know we can go for a lunge at any point in time if need be. But better not to fight yet. As long as he doesn't slow us down, that's 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 the main that's the main focus. And then then we'll then we'll you know, try to fight him for his position, but otherwise, no point. And the higher place behind us is really catching up at this point in time. He's really, he's really pushing it. Yeah, see. No point fighting, just keep close. Will benefit. Not that we have to worry about any fuel conservation for this race at all, but we'll benefit if he is faster. We'll know. We'll, we'll get to follow his line. And the higher place is really starting to close in a little bit. So hopefully we can speed up, work together. Uh, with the stig in front. And I think I could I could have passed, but then this section is so dangerous. Right here under the underneath the underpass, everyone makes mistakes. At some point. It's you just put too much throttle and without straining out the steering wheel and instantly the car is spinning out. But you know, the, a higher place is really, really pushing it and has caught up to us. This is definitely my favorite section. You can really go all out without worrying about spinning. As long as you don't clip the, the, clip the wall. And yeah, I don't expect the stick to pull off to the right. But it did. And then, you know, good thing he did go into Ghost. Uh, unfortunately, we all just bumped into each other. But no accidents yet, which is good. And yeah, I'm not gonna fight him, let him pass. I almost, I almost, <laughs> I almost have a moment there. But that, that moment essentially allowed Rice to pass. In a higher place, just had a huge accident, which then caused Rice to have an accident because he freaked out. And we're back and forth. I imagine by now, if everyone's assuming on they're on their softs, if they did a. Uh, Decent, I guess, decent uh, tire management. Between now and maybe lap 10, they should be swapping out their softs for something else, probably the mediums. We'll have to, we'll, we'll watch that, yeah. Mask, masked music is, uh, has pitted. So he's gonna. I guess he really pushed his uh, his soft tires pretty hard. My lap times are pretty good with the mediums. 
roughly they're pretty consistent at a minute 34. My tires aren't worn out too bad, so we could definitely push maybe for 15 laps if we're lucky. Um, one of my weak points is tire management for sure. Oh, and the stick made a mistake. Very easy to do there. And now the question is, how far or how hard can we push while still being consistent? We have a good, we have a good gap behind us, and the gap in front of us is well, definitely way too far. So I just speed up the race a little bit. Um, because nothing really happens. I almost, I almost had a moment there, but I was able to kind of get off the throttle and sort it all out. But otherwise, the, we're still looking pretty good. Tires are, you know, what would you say, a quarter, quarter worn, maybe just over a quarter. Uh, for the rears at least. Otherwise the uh, the gaps in front and in behind us have been relatively the same over the last few laps. And okay, and so Memphis in first was able to make his his soft tires last about eight laps. It's not too bad. But I had a nine and a half second gap from the mask music. Yeah, nine and a half seconds. And unfortunately, yeah. I didn't straighten out my tire, my steering wheel. I had too much steering input. And when I went to accelerate, I lost control. Very easy there. I should have known better, unfortunately. We all make mistakes at some point. And now, well, Memphis was able to pass, and now I have two, two drivers right on me. They're gonna try to fight for a second. And on top of it, they both have fresher tires than me. Or I, I should say all three of the people around me have fresher tires than me. So. Oh, so yeah, I, I fast forward the race a little bit. Nothing hasn't changed. And I was able to create a bit of a gap between me and masked music. Probably because uh, the stake is probably fighting him a little bit. But I think I'm starting to become a little more cautious. The tires are definitely getting worn out a lot more, but you know, and I and I think Memphis might have made a mistake in front of us because the gap really did come down. So I'm in a position of, I don't want to be too defensive, I want to be really aggressive, but at the same time I know the guys behind me are on fresher tires and are possibly much faster than me uh, based on their qualifying times. Yeah, see, he, Mass Music got a fastest lap of a minute 31. I haven't received, I haven't gotten a lap time that low before uh, so far during this race. But anything's possible, right? So, yeah. Taking this cautiously. Maybe I have a couple more laps. Ideally, I would hit 15 laps with the medium tires, but maybe I only have a couple more, maybe two more laps left. 
before I have to change tires. And um, I wasn't able to pull away from the mask's music anymore. I was able to catch up. But I don't fight him. Uh, I just let him pass the point. The most I could do right now is just try to follow his line and then allow him to pull me by just me staying in the slipstream. And luckily the stick isn't really getting any closer to me at this point in time, so he's not really a focus. Trying to drive a little more cautiously now. Still, still being quick, just a little more cautiously. So I know the tires are um, pretty much dead, or at least they're getting there. And mass music has definitely been able to pull a big gap from me at this point in time. So. Trying to stay consistent. I just and be on top of knowing the areas where mistakes happen the most, such as under the underpass, uh, where I made that big mistake earlier, which is going up the hill. This portion, really, there isn't any mistakes. At least that I have seen that happen under the in the underpass. And this portion, you go all out as long as you don't hit the uh, the barrier there. Oh, those are looking pretty good. I was able to get a little closer to the music. I think these might be the last lap on these tires. So we're still keeping a good pace. Yeah, all my times are pretty much within reason. I think I was actually faster uh, last lap than lap 11, which is pretty good. It's always nice seeing the drivers ahead of us because it, it sort of just gives us hope that we could possibly catch up. So he's, still, he's still within view, even though he is very far away in terms of timing. that maybe made a mistake because this time slowed down. But yeah, we're going to the pits now. Change to the hard tires. I imagine everyone will be changing to the hard tires fairly soon. But going to the pits now, we're in fourth. I feel like it takes about a lap just to get the tires warmed up. So I usually don't like to push the car too hard. You'll see if you like watch uh, watch the throttle, you would see that I'm not being overly aggressive. Well, it looks like I actually sped up the race because nothing really changed. I've been in fourth position for the last several laps now. And 
we have ca caught up to Memphis now. And a higher place is right just over there, just over the hill. And someone's had an incident. I don't really know who. Probably a higher place. Maybe, but first place and second place are right there. I decided, you know what? No point in fighting Memphis. Let's just try to bump draft him and see if we get closer to the very front. Oh, I'm on the soft tires. So these should be my fastest laps. Why do I think I went on the hard tires? I don't know. But anyways. Someone had an accident. Second place, but the stick is right on my bumper. So hopefully we can work together instead of fighting. Maybe catch up to the first place. 23 seconds is, is pretty far though. This has definitely been a fun race so far. Overall, I actually had to speed up the race, uh, or at least cut out portion, portions of the race, because I think it, the whole race is about 45 minutes long. I don't go defensive. Let the stick pass, that's fine. There'll be other opportunities for us to pass if not. Still my favorite course, portion of the course right here. I get to go so fast. Yeah, so I decided to work with him. Got bump drafting again. Give him some space. Take the inside line and open it up. And if you shift quickly enough, uh, you shouldn't have an issue with any wheel spin. Unfortunately though, he hits me right here by accident. He actually apologizes to me at the end of the race, uh, which is nice. And he, uh, he just pulls off to the side just to give me back my position. But he doesn't get back on the gas to keep up with me right away, unfortunately. So he does fall back uh, uh, fairly far, one and a half seconds roughly. soft tires are very worn at this point in time uh, maybe only two more laps left on it maybe three if I'm lucky but we should be able to push we should we should have been able to push harder on these tires in hindsight but I was still driving fairly cautiously because I was just so worried about possibly spinning out so I fast forward the race a little bit. I only think about one lap. And the stake caught back up. And we did reduce the gap in front of us by I think about four seconds. Not enough to catch up, but it's nice knowing that we we did reduce the gap. It looks like the stick is really interested in fighting me at this point in time. I'm not, there's no point in me fighting. I'd rather fight on the, 
on the hard tires at the very end at the last stint. But the stick did take a much better line out of that last turn. Um, it really allowed him to accelerate much faster. As long as we stay focused on being in a slipstream, we should be able to catch up and just stick with him, not let him get away on us. That's definitely easier said than done, especially around all these turns. My favorite portion of the race, or at least of the track, I should say. back up to second. Mast music is on his last set of tires. Oh, I think he just went on his mediums. I think that's what I just saw. Went from hard to medium. So he went the middle section with hards, which is pretty impressive. I guess he had the luxury of doing that considering how far away he was. Looks like the stick had an incident because we're, we're starting to catch up. It definitely looks like a podium finish is, is possible. and then push that turn out, push the car out with the accelerator, and just opening up with the steering wheel. Yeah, these soft tires are dead now, so I'll change them to the hards. Got what, seven laps left? So, for first lap on with these tires, you know, we can't push too hard because they're still cold. But, you know, the next lap after that, we're definitely going to start pushing. Possible. It's possible that we could get in the in, in the podium. Or at least, you know, fourth position. accelerate, push the car out to the far end of the course, use the full course, and ride these curbs, and that just made a slight mistake, I guess that cost him, I don't know if he'll come back from that. And a six second difference between me and the Stig. I don't know if we could even close that gap within the next six laps. But we'll try, for sure, we'll definitely try. Let's see, it didn't take that turn properly, or that portion of the track properly. Kind of slowed us down a little bit. So it stays, the race stays like that for quite a while. So I just sped up the 
sped up the uh, the video. And unfortunately, I believe I wasn't pushing as hard as I liked. You know, we're doing a minute 35 on these hard tires. And I'm a win has really caught up to us. Kind of from nowhere. It wasn't even really, it wasn't even really on the map for us to consider a, th a potential threat. And uh, he's done a pretty good job at, you know, pushing his car. Unfortunately, I didn't push hard enough. But, you know, we're on our final lap. If we're consistent. And we push not too hard and be re re reckless, but push where we know we can really open up the car. I think we can uh, keep fourth position. It's a decent gap between us and fifth position now. But anything can happen, so we just have to be cautious. has really caught up to us now. Almost in, you know, if he could probably lunge in in a turn and catch up, but wait, nope, he makes a huge mistake, costing him the possibility of even taking our place. And it looks like we're gonna finish in fourth position in this round three Nations Cup. Overall, I think we did a pretty good, we got a pretty good result coming from, I believe, seventh. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I hope you enjoyed the race. Uh, please like, subscribe, and see you in the next race.